Hey garden friends, welcome back to Not Quite Homesteading, ESK Garden Channel. I wanted to take a moment and just say thank you for all of your support for those of you who have been here from the beginning. I wanted to give a warm welcome to all of our new garden friends and I appreciate you joining our family. If you are someone that's visiting a video for the first time today, I encourage you to take a moment and hit the subscribe button, join our family, um, we'd love to have you. We welcome garden enthusiasts, uh, anyone that is new to gardening like myself that's just looking for some support and or anybody that just loves to follow a good gardening journey. Would love to engage with you down below and let's have some fun around gardening. So today I'm gonna be in the garden taking care of some things. We've had some wonderful seedling sprouts happen over the last few days. And I will say that um, I have been doing a lot of work, transplanting and such. Um, I didn't get to record everything. Obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into this, and I'm sure you guys know that already. But I did want to share in some of the transplants that I'm doing today, and I will show you what I have been working on over the last few days. So we have some pepper sprouting going on, which I'm super excited about. Everyone talks about how terribly hard it is to grow peppers or get them started. And fortunately for me, I've had some good luck. I guess call it beginner's luck. I've had some good luck with seed sprouting within like seven to ten days so I'm, exci I'm excited about that. I'm going to share in that journey with you as I get them transplanted over into a larger pot and then I'll share with you what else I've been working on. Okay so we're inside the patio guys. Um, I'm going to show you what I transplanted. So this is a variety of like tomato plants as well as some eggplant that have sprouted um one of the mistakes i made and i think i'm gonna make like a short video about some of the common like some of the things that i've learned some random things that i've learned i would say over the last six months that i think anyone can benefit from but i went ahead and transplanted immediately like as soon as they emerged as seedlings um, the tomatoes and the eggplants and they are in these little one gallon containers this is where they will be until i transplant them out into their kind of garden space um growing stations so i have a number and i'm like filming inside my patio so it's not a ton of space in here but i have some cherry tomato varieties so these are the cherry tomato seedlings i put them behind the signs and then i think on the other side of this have some San Marzano tomatoes so some of them look a little bit better than others but quite honestly I think they're all doing quite well I noticed that I have a little bit of fungus um, that seems like it's growing on the top so I'll go ahead and spray that down with some neem oil but when I transitioned these I did add a tiny bit of blood meal and a tiny bit of bone meal to just fertilize like the soil a little bit because I knew they were going to be in here for a little while so they'll have the nutrients they need as they start to form those roots on this side I have some clementine tomatoes and then um, I think I have what two of these one is like still sprouting I don't know can you see that <laughs> one is still sprouting and then I have one that's looking pretty decent on this side and then on the other side, I actually have some Roma tomato plants. Now, I will say that um, I had gotten these from Home Depot last year. And I say last year, it wasn't that long ago, but <laughs> last year. And um, their germination rate is pretty good on these. These, I believe, are burpee seeds. So every, like almost every Roma tomato that I planted has popped up. And that resulted in me, like during the um, late summer, having to cut out several plants because I have way too many plants growing up in one pot, not realizing what I was doing. On this side, I have some eggplant seeds that started. So this is the white eggplant. These actually look really, really good. I'm trying to get y'all in there. The sun is like really shining brightly, but you can see the little seedling there. Um, it grew up pretty close to the soil, has a nice, um, looks like a nice strong root is going to develop. Same on this side, this is the tomato, um, not tomato, this is the Turkish orange eggplant. So that one is looking pretty good as well. And then over here, I have my first uh, early girl tomato sprout and she's looking pretty nice as well. 
So those are the, some of the things that I've transplanted so far on this side. I actually had some pepper plants sprout as well. The first pepper plant that sprouted for me was the Chili de Arbol pepper. So I was super excited about that. Um, I did transplant one out. I had one that was sprouting as I was transplanting that one out. So those are among, or that one is among several peppers that I'll be transplanting out today. And I have that one here. So you guys can see it's still sprouting just a tad, but you know, I didn't want them to come up, like once I knew they were sprouting, I didn't want them to come up like really stretched out looking for light. That was what happened to one of my first tomato seedlings that sprouted and um, I had to, I had to correct that by basically, you know, burying the little stem a little bit deeper. So that is what is going on as far as the things that have been transplanted. Some of the other things that I did were trans, not transplant. Some of the other things I did were up pot my spinach and my collard greens that I have inside the patio. I think they both were kind of way too big for the one gallon uh, containers that I had them in. So what I ended up putting them in were two gallon containers and I think this will serve them well. Remember I said that these are the plants that I intend to keep in here, kind of like baby leaf varieties. Um, so I'll use them as like baby greens for salads and that kind of stuff. And this is how they're looking after the transplant. So you can see that the spinach, she looks much, much healthier. I think the spinach definitely appreciates the space that it has now. So it will allow, you know, just some more um, room for the roots to spread out. The roots definitely were spread out in the one gallon pan all the way down to the bottom for both plants. This is the collard green plant and it's looking really, really good. So if you can really see there, this plant in the middle is like establishing itself really nicely. There is one plant that's kind of in the back of that that's also establishing itself really nicely. But then you have these that are, while they're, you know, they look pretty healthy, they definitely have not grown as big. And there's like one on the side as well. And you can see the leaves are much smaller and that's just because they just didn't have the room to be able to grow. And then one of the other things that I did is I went ahead and planted and I did direct sow these some Greek oregano and then some big leaf Italian basil on the other side. So I put these in a two gallon container so that they would have ample room to grow before being tr either transplanted or you know I may just decide to leave them in here I'm not really sure but I do have enough plants in here to be able to leave some and to transplant some as well and then I did bring you guys into my dining room which is where I have all of like the seed starts and stuff there's a lot going on on this dining room table so don't mind the mess but um <laughs> I have some red rocket peppers and I believe that is a cayenne variety that I picked up um, that are sprouting a couple of, oh, that is sprouting a seed. And then I have the Arbol chili peppers that have sprouted two more seeds. So I will be getting these, trans I will get this transplanted out today. I probably will leave the top off of these for the rest of the day to see where they are. If they are not ready by the end of today, I'll go ahead and cover it back up so that we can continue to have the humidity. And then those will get transplanted out tomorrow. In this pan, we have a lot of sprouting going on. So I have a um, yellow bell pepper, the sweet sunrise. And then you can see I have pimento sprouts, some early jalapenos. That's what both of these little uh, sections are. And then I actually have some sprouting that's happening here on the cubanelle side. So, oh, it's a little blurry. So I have two sprouts coming up there. And then it looks like I even have one for the white bell. I, I am so excited about these white bell peppers, y'all. Um, the white and the yellow, because for one, yes, I do use yellow bell peppers from time to time, but I just think they're super expensive at the store. So it's not something I buy every single time I go. Typically, I'll just buy like the green and reds, but It'll be so nice to have like that color in the garden as well as just, you know, having the mix of colors in the diet. So I am looking forward to that. And I think the white bell peppers are going to be gorgeous in the garden. And I'm so excited to see what that looks like. 
And then we have a strong little sprout here for one of our sweet peppers. Now, I don't know what the color is of this one, but this is the carnival variety. So this was the pack that I showed you that also had purple and orange in the uh, sea hole. And then over here, we look like we're getting another Jubilee tomato sprout, which is the orange cherry, uh, not orange cherry, it's just a, like an orange slicing tomato. So that is what is going on here. And these are some of the things that we're gonna be transplanting today. Yes. You wanna come outside? I'm just gonna let them go not these per se but um the ones that are coming up but they're not really like up they should be up by tomorrow I'm gonna let those sit in here another night with like the humidity dome and then I will transplant those out probably tomorrow or Sunday um well probably tomorrow but um I am going to transplant this pimento and then this uh yellow pepper i'll probably do these two a little bit later today because i want to give this a little bit more time to open up some but the rest of them they seem fine now i will say i did not fertilize i don't think i fertilized this particular set of soil for the peppers but i will do that once i have everything i'm going to put in here in I'll give them a little bit of food. Um, they should be a little bit further along when I do that. But um, I just didn't do it with these. I don't really know why, <laughs> no why, no rhyme or reason, but I will do it eventually. In addition to these two, I have three more of these two gallon buckets. One of them I'm going to direct sow some more Swiss chard and some arugula in. And I think they can share a pot. Um, I think that'll be fine. But I want to get some more Swiss chard going. I'm going to hold this one for transplanting the actual peppers. And I wanted to, with my, um, I really wanted to with the early like jalapenos to put them over there because I have so many more of them and I plan to grow so many more of them but um that'll be fine they can some of them can start here and if I need more space I have additional pots for that one of the containers is definitely going to be for more peppers that I'm transplanting from the seedling starting trays and then um, I have two of them that I I have two of them that I sanitized some soil in and I'm waiting for it to dry but I might lay the soil out so that I can go ahead and use the pots um, if you guys are interested in you know like a sanitizing soil video let me know and I'll share like what I did um, based on the research that I did to sanitize my soil and you can do it for like all of your soil obviously I took the um, the ones that were in containers like these and I dumped them out completely that allowed me to actually clean the containers out 
and then I sanitize the soil that way there's a different way I believe that you do it for like the beds and stuff so if you want me to share that then um, let me know leave a comment down below and I will dedicate a video to sharing how I sanitize the soil but that is the plan for today I'm not going to do a whole lot today just because <laughs> this has been ongoing every day all week and i know it's that season but you know i just can't spend 40 hours a week gardening right um i mean i probably could but you know that's i don't think it's practical and i do have other things i need to be doing so that's all i'm gonna do for today i hope that you guys enjoy transplanting the seedlings with me and seeing how the pepper starts are going i'm super excited i'm chalking it up to beginner's luck because you know that's just how the game goes sometimes and we'll see what happens in the years to come but i am grateful that these seeds are starting they're starting well they aren't taking very long and you know it seems like we're getting a really good jump on our spring weather here so I think I'll be able to put these out a lot sooner than um, a lot sooner than we are expected to be able to it is Friday February 10th our weather for today it's like 70 degrees it has been hot all day the sun went down it actually feels pretty good out here right now but I just thought I would share that so you guys can kind of see where we are with some of our weather and the nighttime temperatures are around like you know low mid 50s so definitely feels like feels like and sounds like spring to me but i appreciate you guys for watching until our next garden update see you soon friends bye